All right, Mike, so we're over at the Clearplex booth. I know finally you finally met David. Yeah, we finally met David. David, nice <laughs> yeah, to meet you officially. Real. This is the first time we've met in person, right? Yeah, so we did a lot with David. David helped us with IndyCar on Santino's car. We did a lot of research yeah. development. The IR film, we did a lot of development on the IR film as well. I know you. we did, what, a, a bunch of roles before they actually came out. So this new yeah. film that's over here, which you guys just unveiled, Dave? So this is our original Clearplex. This is the OG, been around for 15 years. Um, so if anybody's worked with Clearplex before, this is, they, it looks really good. Clear 89% DLT, pretty much the only kind of feature that you would sell to your customer on this. It's an impact protection film, rejects UV. This is our new Clearplex. Um, if people are familiar with like window film buzzwords, nano ceramic is the buzzword that window film companies use to indicate that a film rejects heat. And it's specifically used for light VLT films, so films that are like 80%, 70%, 60% that reject a lot of heat. So what we, what is happening, that technology is rather new, probably in the last five or six years. So when that technology got really popular is when windshield tinting became really popular. Right. And our customers were like, hey man, we don't really like throwing film on the inside. If I have a customer that wants the exterior clearplex, we would prefer to do one install rather than throwing winch film on the inside and the outside. So what we did is we took our Clearplex, the original right here, we added IR infrared, so IR means infrared radiation surface blockers, and we have created this product right here. So this product is called Clearplex Nano Ceramic. The added benefit that this has, it is also four mil thick, blocks UV, it has the same great scratch coat as our original Clearplex, same great clarity, but it also blocks 90% of infrared radiation. So what that means is you now can do one application on the outside and get that kind of two-in-one product benefit. You get the heat rejection with the exterior windshield protection. So what we're going to do right now, you know, we're here at SEMA, super busy booth, we're doing shrinking demonstrations for both our Clearplex film, our Black Pearl Nano Ceramic Window film, we're demoing our paint protection film over there where we're introducing two new PPF variants. Right here though, we do our impact demonstration. This does two different things, right? So this shows the clarity of the film. So this side of the film, of the windshield, has no film. So nothing, right? nothing at nothing all. Nothing over nothing. here. Just regular glass. Clearplex Nano Ceramic on, on the passenger side. Just like the point out this has only been on for about 12 hours film takes about seven days to cure so this is going to get clearer and clearer and, and it clearer. does it, absolutely it does, does. And so even you know less than 24 hours after installation on an imperfect install you can see it's really clear so we're going to do the impact demo too so we're going to bust up the driver's side the right side of the glass do the same demo on the left side and show you why you need clearplex why it's a great product for exotics, for luxuries, for track cars, for cars with ADAS. That means cars with cameras and sensors like Tesla's, Subaru EyeSights. So we'll do the impact demo now. So this is the side that's unprotected. This is the side protected with the clear flags on the unprotected side. Perfect, thank you. Partner with ACI Dynamics. They're an awesome shop. They do a great job representing our product. We look forward to growing with them and uh, you know, continuing to um, introduce Clearplex to more and more people as the, the interest in windshield protection film grows overall. For sure, and a couple of good points you made. So like if you have a Tesla yep. and there was any type of stuff for the park distance control that's in there or any warning systems, the film doesn't, has no bearing on that whatsoever. No, yeah, yeah, so you can, you can apply this to, to cars that have ADAS cameras. Um, you can use everything from like a basic ADAS system, which might only be front collision warnings, all the way to super complex like Tesla's. You can use Tesla's self-driving features. As long as the film is properly installed, you push out all the moisture, there's no distortion, there's not gonna be any issue. So you shouldn't see, you, you won't compromise any features of your vehicle by putting this on. All you'll be doing is protecting your car. So Dave, can we do a quick install, show them how we, uh, give them a quick DIY on how to install it over there on that yeah, one? Yeah, we'll yeah, call, yeah, we'll yeah, do it. Yeah, for sure. So, 
You're gonna have to put a quick new piece of film on. Does that work? Yeah, yeah. We'll put a new piece of film. So this one was already pre-shrunk. They were messing with it. Um, how it shrunk down. <laughs> we're gonna take this film off here. We're gonna grab a new piece. We're gonna put it on there, and then show you how to shrink it. So it's kind of a DIY as well. Kind of how we do it. We're not gonna give you all the secrets on how we do it because that's how we install it. But we'll give him a little DIY, Mike. Right? Yeah, we'll do it. So he's cutting the film. You can see how it's blue. So one thing uh, David kind of talked about, we did a lot of development with them on this, or I should say not development, but testing the film yep. on all the cars. Yep. We run it on Rally to Give, we run it on Gumball 3000. So the film works. You know the window tint has like a grain, clear flex has a grain. So Mike and I, we're holding the film with, this is the manufacturer's edge. Right, so a roll of film, top and bottom, these are the sides of the shrink. You always orient the film on the long side of the glass, which for 99% of the vehicles is the top and bottom of the windshield. You're, yep, you're long, too long a sides. Just a quick point, if you try to do a Tesla Model X, you got to flip it because the A-pillars are bigger. So 99% right. of the, the cars are like this, but every so often you might have to oriented um, now kind of something to bring up I know we talked about it yesterday so we're shrinking this with the the side up that's going to be taking the impact on it but you can shrink it either way I guess too as well shrinking this as a quadrant so I'm going to start the quadrant and try to finish it well not try I'm going to finish a quadrant before I move on to another quadrant as another thing that you can do before you before you start a quadrant, you want to look at the shape of the fingers, all right? So why I'm doing this is, you see any fingers that are a whale tail? That's what I call them. I don't know if that's the right term. You can try to split them and just make them into kind of smaller. So if they had that whale tail, so that speak, little and you try to shrink that, it's not going to happen. It's going to push it out? Well, you, you can do it, but what would happen is you would hammer this right in the middle, and then it would split, split it in two. Anyway, right. So you can just go ahead and split it before right. you shrink yeah. it, right? Um, if it comes to a point, you can't split it, and depending on the size, like this isn't very big, I'm not gonna, if I split this, right. it'll, it'll probably just come back together. The bigger the Y, the easier you can see. Thanks CI for coming out. They generated a lot of great content for us. We're just really looking forward to growing the ClearPlex brand, and we like to associate ourselves with people that position and represent our product in the right way, sell it to the right customers. Um, deal in a premium and you know like just honest business manner and so we're looking to really really growing our relationship with ACI which in turn will really help position our products in a great way moving forward. Yeah I think we got a lot of stuff coming up uh, in the new year so yep. stay tuned for it and uh, awesome. yeah we'll get it done. Thanks man. Thanks for your time David I appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right guys so David hooked us up he took care of it got to see that John it's time to go we had enough but I got some good day.